Hello dear viewers, here is a new video that I will please you on my channel Manwa Compilation. I hope you like my story and how I told it to you. The world was shrouded in darkness. It was devastated by monsters. Huge rats the size of cars wandered around. Giant snakes the length of a train were crawling. Fierce birds flew as big as an airplane. However, this is nothing. The problem is the legendary evil creatures who were the real rulers of the world. People on this earth could only fight in endless despair. If you look at this planet from a bird's eye view, it looks very sad. But then, to great happiness, a stargate appeared and gave desperate humanity the last hope. Those who were not deprived of talent had a chance to enter the gate and become awakened, receiving a class and gaining incredible abilities. They were the only ones who could fight back such terrible monsters. Now we see in front of us the City of Dawn. The city is home to a community of awakened ones. Then a scream was heard, ah! The man in the suit, named Fred, pushed Mike with all his might who slipped and fell to the floor with a crash. Fred, Mike groaned as he rose to his knees with difficulty. Ka, ka, he coughed. Ten years ago, he began to say with contempt, My parents risked their lives to save you during a disaster. They accepted you as their own son. Only with their help did you become awakened. Their kindness was as big as a mountain. I didn't expect that you would stab me in the back and try to take away my home, although my parents disappeared less than a month ago. To which Mike objected, Fred, you really don't understand why I'm taking away family property. It turned out that five generations of Mike's family actually lived in this house for more than a hundred years. But so what, after all? All the houses in this territory belong to six awakened guilds. Mike, the representative of the law, addressed him. Today you turned 18, but you still have not awakened your abilities. According to general rules, those who have not achieved awakening by this age lose their right to reside in the territory of the awakened community. And then he added, As an adopted child, Fred automatically inherits the right to inherit this mansion. Everything is in accordance with the law and indignation is unnecessary. We're not convinced, Mike exclaimed. You work together. There are many people who have not awakened by the age of 18, but continue to live here. So why should they throw me out? The guy was indignant. This is what my ancestors get for their sacrifice in the name of the city? How daring this is, the representative of the law said with dissatisfaction and hit the guy. How dare you, an ordinary person, question the rules of the six guilds? Did you want to die? He shouted. Fred, I'll leave it to you, the officer said. I'll leave first. By the way, don't forget what you promised me, he said, turning to Fred. Accepted, Mr. Luke, don't worry, he replied. I will fulfill my promise. And he himself was already planning something as he approached Mike. You don't know what my plans are, he said mentally. The guy tried to get up from the floor, rising to his knee, but then Fred suddenly ran up to him and pushed him again. The guy fell to the floor screaming again. Mike, I forgot to tell you, Fred said, stepping on his face with his boot. Having been recognized as a genius since childhood, do you know why you still haven't been able to awaken your class? This is because I started to bully you little by little when I was ten years old, Freddy admitted. Then he added, Taking the poison of the gray crystal lizard every month constantly destroyed your body. And how would you be able to awaken your skills in such a situation? What? Mike exclaimed in horror. Why did you do this? How dare you? Mike, you are so naive. He responded to the guy's indignation with a malicious smile. Houses in this district are built near the Stargate, which is the best and safest place in the entire City of Dawn. Especially this mansion of yours, he said, looking around the huge bright building. Now he's mine. Being so close to the gate is a huge help to my growth. And it's also very safe. So you planned this from the very beginning? Mike growled, writhing with resentment and anger, lying under the heavy boot of the treacherous Fred. I am an E-rank thief, so my maximum was to rent an apartment on the outskirts. If you don't wake up and your parents die, then I, as an adopted son, will inherit this house, Fred continued. Bah! How blind my family was to shelter such a viper. Mike howled after the insidious thief removed his foot from his face and walked away. Ha 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 ha. Thanks for the compliment, Fred replied. And approaching him again with a grin, he said, I forgot to mention. I told your parents some news and this time they went on an adventure. I did this, Fred continued, to give you one last opportunity to awaken your powers, even despite the great danger. And of course, they didn't hesitate to hit the road. What wonderful parental love, he quipped again. Dad, Mom, 
Fred is a traitor, deceiver, Mike exclaimed in bewilderment, clutching his head. Get out of here. Piece of dirt, Fred shouted, kicking the guy again. The slums are perfect for you, garbage, he said as he left, and left the guy beaten on the ground. Having closed the gate, he left. Fred the bastard said to Mike with tears in his eyes, I'll be back, you'll see, he threatened. And the guy got up from his knees and left like a beaten dog with pain in his heart. Meanwhile, Fred is up to something bad again. Even though he lost and is no longer a threat, he thought, but the best garbage is dead garbage. Such insidious, bloodthirsty thoughts settled in Fred's head. Mike walked holding the walls of the building with one hand and his head with the other. The pain is so strong that I have less and less strength left, he whispered. His face was covered in blisters. Am I really dying, the guy thought. I don't want it, I don't want it like that, he shouted in anger. And then he suddenly fell to the floor, losing consciousness. An incredible thing happened. A huge, luminous ball of fire flew from the sky approaching the guy. A lot of fire, lightning, and light clung to his body, his head. Mike was completely glowing with a bright light. Ah, ah, he began to moan. Then he suddenly woke up, drops of sweat flowing down his already smooth cheeks, without any rash. I didn't think that the legendary secret technique of reincarnation would work. The guy whispered with enthusiasm. Something incredible happened. I have been reborn, he thought. Meanwhile, on the same planet, one girl named Alice snuck up on her teacher from behind and stabbed him with a sword. Alice, why? I have always treated you like my own child, he exclaimed. Sorry, master, but if you don't die, then I will have to live in your shadow, so I will never become the strongest goddess of war in the world, answered young woman. Nicholas, you ignorant warrior, said one of the clan members. The great demon god's strength is beyond your imagination. How dare you think about fighting him? added another participant. So all this time you have been leading me by the nose, Nicholas said, holding his sword. The idea of joining forces to kill the demon god and end this dark age is just wishful thinking on my part. You have completely forgotten about your oath to protect humanity and are mired in your own greed, he said. Instead, you see me as a threat and want to maintain your power. But do you think you can defeat me like this? Well, no, the guy shouted. I, Nicholas, am the strongest warrior mankind has ever known, and the only SS-ranked god of war. How can I fall so easily? I will return and become stronger than before, he thought as he left. Everything shone around the guy. A bright light from the sky approached him. The legendary secret technique of reincarnation, Nick thought. Ah! He shouted as he flew. Alice and you traitors, just wait. Since I survived, I will eradicate your sins one by one, said Nick. What's wrong with this body, he thought. Is it poisoned? It seems to be the poison of the gray crystal lizard from the dark world. An E-rank thief's ability? The body is so weakened due to long-term poisoning that the internal organs are already in holes. It's just destroyed. What can we say about the awakening of the class? Nicholas thought about Meek. How could my soul choose such a useless shell? He thought. The guy saw clearly pictures of Mike's life in front of him. Adoption. Missing parents. These are all his memories. Betrayal? What an ungrateful brother he has, thought Nicholas. Due to similar circumstances, my soul chose him. Did you have such a strong will before death? The guy thought further. Well, in that case, I, Nicholas, will fulfill it. Bright light again. Mike's soul has completely dissipated. Reincarnation is complete. I really became master of this body, Nick thought. However, it is so weak that the chance of becoming awakened is less than one in a million let alone returning to his previous level. It will be difficult to fulfill even his last wish, the guy thought. Hmm, so what? In my past life, as the strongest SSSS rank war god, I made the impossible possible. Nicholas perked up. I have mastered a huge number of skills. There must be something that will improve my physical strength and allow me to change my fate against the will of heaven, the guy thought, holding his head with his hand. And then he remembered, the Law of Nirvana. These are the Six Paths of Reincarnation. I acquired the legendary secret art of the Six Paths of Reincarnation, along with reincarnation in the mysterious lands of the Void. Since reincarnation has proven its effectiveness, then the Six Paths of Reincarnation should also work. If I master this, then I will definitely be able to change this body and get even greater strength than in my previous life, Nicholas decided. However, before the transformation, first, I need to enter the Stargate to awaken, he thought. 
My name is Mike now. With this name, I will return to the top and become the strongest in the world, Nicholas decided. City of Dawn. And here you can see the Stargate. The City of Dawn is located in the southern part of the planet. This is far from the heavenly city located in the north where I lived before. So I was thrown from north to south, Mike thought. I'm away from Alice's influence. The best thing to do is to secretly become stronger. City of Dawn is the largest city in the south. There are indeed many awakened people here. I was like them, fighting day and night in the wild to increase my strength and achieve my dream of becoming a god of war, the boy thought. Entering the building, he said, I want to apply to participate in the awakening. Mike, the secretary, answered him. You've already tried twice this month and failed both. Although your father is the captain of the awakened group, you are entitled to free attempts, but with your potential, you can forget about awakening. Just a waste of resources, the secretary whispered, casting a sidelong glance at the guy. What did you say? Repeat it. Mike got angry. You... The man began to speak and froze. What is it? Why suddenly... He couldn't understand what was happening to Mike. Guards! He shouted. I am Captain of the Guard, Patrick. What happened? He asked. Captain, he began. Patrick. And told him about this guy. According to this body's memories, when Patrick was young, he was saved by Mike's parents. How will he treat the son of his benefactors after the changes in my family, Mike thought. Will he behave like Fred? He wondered. Stupid! The law enforcement officer shouted at the secretary. Mike's family has been an awakened family for generations. They made a great contribution to the development of the city. Do you have any problems accepting the application? He added. Where is the star map of awakening? Patrick turned to the man again. Mike, watching what was happening, the guy said to himself, Take a star map and take part in the awakening, said the law enforcement officer, handing the card into his hands. Then, hugging the guy, he whispered in his ear, Don't stay on the territory of the residents of the awakened ones. Is it dangerous? Understood? The guard left, leaving the secretary with his head down. Patrick is the person who knows how to repay gratitude, Mike thought with joy. And in thought, he went towards his goals. Hmm. He grinned, standing in front of the map. There is so much light around her. Bright light that absorbs the darkness. The guy was literally enveloped in it. There seemed to be many silhouettes around, engulfed in bright light. What's going on? This body can't even withstand the pressure of the awakening place? It's not surprising because he was bullied for so many years, he thought. Achieving awakening will be extremely difficult, Mike groaned. The potential test taker resonates with the stars, enters into a contract, and then can awaken. The more starlight he attracts, the more transformation his body will undergo. This promises a huge advantage and a bright future, the guy decided. And those who could not resonate with the stars end up as ordinary people in rot and poverty, he thought, falling to his knees, bowing his head. Although there is a star here that resonates with this body, its condition is too weak, said the guy, having already pulled himself together and stood on his feet. It is impossible to obtain a normal amount of starlight and conclude a contract, not to mention awakening. However, I foresaw this. Judging by the light of this star, even if I receive it and am able to awaken, the transformation will not be complete. Mike concluded. If I want to return, I'll have to take risks and give it my all, he thought. Let's try the legendary secret art. Six paths of reincarnation. A huge amount of spiritual power must be ignited and the wheel of six paths must be summoned. Then gather the light power of countless stars, purify the essence and transform your body, the guy finally decided. In a past life, the power of my soul was strong, and although after rebirth I suffered losses, the power of the soul should remain strong enough. He was inspired. Soul power, light up! Mike shouted decisively, and he spun in a funnel of bright yellow light. For a long time he circled in a bright solar tornado. Wheel of Six Ways, activation. Standing on a magical bright star, he wailed. So Mike was covered in fiery rays, and a star was shining above him. Rays of light rose from the earth towards this beautiful bright star. Ah, ah, the guy shouted in bewilderment, and there was more and more bright light around. What just happened? How can starlight shine like the sun? Has someone awakened? From such an amount of starlight, the body should have been completely transformed. The success of the Six Paths of Reincarnation has proven itself worthy. Taking the initiative and attracting the stars for resonance is a brilliant solution. However, this is only the first step. Now, Mike started. Time to curb the flame of starlight. The real awakening begins now. 
To awaken the class, one must endure the extinction of this flame. Although I have experienced a lot in all my years, it really hurts. But for me, he thought, this is nothing. Already with more confidence. Ah, Mike shouted. Standing in the bright light of the fire, he did not seem to feel a surge of enormous power. Is it over? The power of the stars, attracted by the six paths of reincarnation. Should it be so simple? He said. The bright light has faded. Now it looks like the truth. The guy smiled contentedly. Come on, he exclaimed. Third star flame, huh? Mike's satisfied exclamation was heard again. And then he lit up with a bright yellow flame, then a bright blue glow. Ah! The guy shouted, enthusiastically changing the flame to green. Afterwards, the glow turned purple. An extraordinary spectacle. Do the six paths of reincarnation really correspond to the six types of star flame? Such an awakening is unprecedented and dangerous, he thought. But the greater the danger, the greater the benefits. I'll use this to harden my body, he said, jumping into the blue depths of the water with a bright glow. Revive me from the ashes, Nirvana. Rebirth. Purification of essence. Mike thought while sitting in the watery depths of the blue glow. From the outside, he looked like he was in a blue glowing egg. A little later, the egg began to shatter, as if into fragments. The guy clenched his fists with strength and power. With a joyful exclamation, Ah! The body is restored and the poison is completely removed. The six paths of reincarnation deserve to be a legendary secret art that can change fate, he thought. Now the awakening is complete, Mike exhaled. What did I awaken? What is this? After awakening, the body improves depending on the awakened class. The guy understood. Strong warrior physique, in red and yellow light, he thought. The speed and agility of a thief in a violet glow. The insight of a magician. In the blue of the rays, archer's keen vision. In the green light, the unshakable will of a knight. Feels in the yellow glow of rays. Specific perception of the summoner. Namely, monster's helpers. What? I awaken six classes? Is this really due to the art of the paths of reincarnation, Mike thought? I know a lot from my past life, but I've barely heard a couple of times that a person had at least two classes. And I suddenly... The guy froze. Got them all! With a body like this, I will undoubtedly surpass my previous self. Just wait, you assholes. My revenge will not keep you waiting long. I decided for myself, boy. Star space began to dissipate. The awakening procedure will soon end. It's time to leave he said to himself. Mike, even if he crawled out of the slums, one of the warriors turned to him. Who did you come to when you woke up? You're just trash, wasting resources, he told him boldly, keeping his hands in his pockets. Get out of here, Mike growled with contempt, and holding his hands in his pockets, the warrior left. Nevertheless, Mike could not resist and shouted after Coslin, How dare you talk to me like that? Shouldn't he have died after the last poisoning? If so, then I'll just kill him myself. Fred planned. Garbage. Dared not to listen to me. Today, on behalf of your parents, I will teach you a lesson. The guy thought. Stop, Mike, if you dare! Fred ran after him. Bronze rank talent. Dash. Snake attack. Mike, don't blame me for this. Fred began to use his abilities, taking out a dagger. Heh. <sighs> Bronze rank dash and snake attack are the skills of an E-rank thief. He really intends to kill me. But thieves must hide and carry out hidden attacks, Mike thought. Considering the experience of the strongest god of war in such a useless attack, I see many open spaces, he thought. Besides, now I have awakened as many as six classes, the guy encouraged himself. Even if we have a difference of two ranks, I can... Mike clenched his fist and attacked Fred. Punch you in the face! What? That trash Mike sent an E-rank thief flying with one blow? The secretary of the residence was surprised. He was able to get me? One hit, and... Nonsense. He must be lucky, Fred said in bewilderment. I just woke up, so I don't have any class skills yet. Taking advantage of the effect of surprise, I was able to hit this Cretan, Mike concluded. But this is not enough to defeat him, the guy thought. Fred, you openly intended to kill someone who had just undergone awakening. Do you want to go to jail? Asked the law enforcement officer. Patrick, he tried to wake up many times, but to no avail. You know it. You should be fired for abuse of power because you give such scum a chance and cover them up. Fred dared to dare. It's not for you to teach me about life, sucker. As for Mike's awakening, any sighted person can confirm it, added the guard. Mike's blow was strong. An ordinary person is not capable of this, the warriors around thought. Yeah, Fred is of the highest rank, but they smeared him right in the face, said another warrior. 
he suppressed the attack of an E-rank thief. The law enforcement officer supported the conversation. Although thieves are not strong in direct confrontations, an ordinary person would not be able to fend off such an attack, they added from the side. This is impossible. His body had been under the influence of the poison for so long that it began to deteriorate. Is it possible to awaken a class with such a body? Never mind, Fred thought angrily. Patrick approached Mike and showed him his device. Mike awakened class warrior. That's what was there. You have awakened the warrior class. That explains your kick. The law enforcement officer turned to the guy. Fred was out of luck. Being a thief, he attacked a warrior head on, fooling him. Did he really awaken the warrior class? When I awakened him, why wasn't I so strong? Patrick said. The awakening of the six classes is too shocking an event. If they find out about this, then someone strong might target me, and then there will be trouble. Luckily, my soul is strong. I hid my aura with soul power. Everyone sees only the warrior class. Mike thought meanwhile. Mike, congratulations. Your parents would be proud of you, the law enforcement officer said, patting the guy on the shoulder. Since you have awakened, then go to the Warriors Guild to study and improve. Try to discover the accompanying talent in yourself in order to become a real high-level awakened one. Patrick handed the pass to the guy. You have already lost a lot of time, so don't delay, shouted after him. Got it. I'll try. Mike answered. Uncle Patrick, when will the monthly talent assessment take place? The guy asked the guard. Today, do you see these armored vehicles? This is a group that leaves the city to evaluate talents. He answered. Why are you asking? You're not planning on doing an assessment now, are you? Yes, uncle, you guessed correctly, Mike answered. Are you crazy? You know that this is only given one try. You have finally awakened. Do you want to lose your only chance like this? When people undergo awakening, they are given the status of apprentice. Patrick was indignant, worried about him. Students study and improve their abilities in the guild for one to three years. Having received enough knowledge, they go to evaluate the talent, the guard explained to him. Only there you can get a class-related talent. After this, they begin to be considered truly awakened, he continued. Related talent is a passive skill. Each class can only get one of these. He can be both good and bad. This will determine your future achievements. You need to prepare well, and then you can perform well in the assessment. This is the key to getting good talent. Mike, you need to take this seriously, Patrick warned the guy. Don't worry, uncle, I'm sure the boy answered smiling. Meanwhile, many different warriors were walking around the residence. Just woke up and already wants to take a talent assessment. What arrogance, he poses a threat alive. We need to think about how to get rid of it. Fred's insidious whisper could be heard. Ungrateful bastard, still planning to kill me. When I get the accompanying talent and become a real awakened one, then the worthless E-rank thief. <sighs> Mike thought. Meanwhile, the light of the Stargate enveloped the city. Many terrible monsters lurk outside of it. They are extremely evil and furiously thirst for human souls. Individually, monsters are afraid of the light of the Stargate and do not dare to approach the city. But if enough monsters gather, their thirst overcomes their fear. And this catastrophic wave rushes towards the city. In the history of mankind, there are many cities captured by monsters. With the Stargate destroyed and starlight extinguished, countless people become food for monsters. Thus. It does not matter how many awakened ones resist the catastrophic wave and protect the city. This is a war in which the awakened sacrifice themselves and become martyrs in defense of humanity. Every martyr with an unbending will calls on the light of the stargates and gains immortality under the cover of starlight. Many tombstones emit a huge amount of stellar energy, distort space, and create a special dimension known as the lands of starlight gifts. There. Each newly awakened person takes part in talent evaluation to continue the glory of the ancestors. They receive accompanying talent inherited from their predecessors. We see a huge armored vehicle moving along an iron bridge. The insight of a magician is truly useful. I have almost read such a thick book. Mike thought to himself sitting in this car. Book, Heroes of the City of Dawn. The city is mostly inhabited by undead, he read. So you should focus specifically on monsters of this type. Although the tests differ from city to city, most of the rules of the land of gifts of starlight are unchanged, Mike realized. In a past life, I was born into an ordinary family, without any support from elders. It's a miracle that then I was able to obtain the accompanying gold rank talent, the guy thought. 
Gold rank talent, what the 1000 people. Silver rank talent, what 1000 people. Bronze rank talent, what is 100 people. It turns out like in a pyramid, gold rank, then silver, then bronze, iron, and the lowest rank at the bottom of the pyramid. One in 10 people can receive an iron rank talent, while the majority receive the lowest. And one in a 100,000 or even millions receive a talent of epic rank. This time I can aim higher. Maybe we can get an epic talent? Mike thought. According to legend, to do this, we need to enter the deepest part of the lands of starlight. And behold, we have arrived at our destination. The guy realized and got out of the car. I hope I get the accompanying bronze rank skill, then I'll get rich. Don't dream, only one in a hundred gets it. The boy immediately stopped himself. Is this Mike? Has he woken up? Huh. Relying on the resources of his parents and having exhausted so many attempts, even a pig would awaken, reading a book in such a place. Maybe he became dull after waking up? Ha ha ha. The two laughed looking at him. These guys became awakened disciples and studied for three years in major guilds. But why are they so ignorant? Mike thought. Although it is logical, most likely the guilds provide only basic knowledge. Truly valuable information is distributed only among high-ranking awakened ones. The fools do not know that when testing the lands of the gifts of starlight, the most important thing is not strength, but wisdom, will, and courage. The guy was confident in his convictions. Is this Jessica from the Mason family? Awakened at the age of 11, the greatest genius, Mike noted. Strange, she awakened the class five years ago. Shouldn't she have taken the talent assessment before? Why did you come only now? Forget it, we can't understand geniuses, he whispered. From a rich family, huh? Aura is not strong, no stronger than an ordinary awakened disciple. But she has a dense concentration of soul power, thought Mike. Guardians of the graves of the lands of gifts of starlight, the guy looked at the silhouettes. Brad, 34 years old, senior member of the City of Dawn Archers Guild, S-rank combat ability. Lucas, 36 years old, senior member of the City of Dawn Warriors Guild, S-rank combat ability. I heard that the daughter of the Mason family awakened the archer class at the age of I've been preparing for so many years. Apparently the assessment will be fruitful. It looks like your archer guild will get a real treasure, said one guild member to another. Well, let's not judge so quickly. Judging talent depends on luck. It's too early to say that. According to inside information, the Mason family has been preparing all along, targeting high-ranking accompanying talent. They are confident in their abilities. But should I tell you about this? You'll die of envy, Brad said. Do you think? Although you're right, the accompanying talent depends on luck. Maybe you'll have an iron rank talent, Lucas replied. Lucas, you're an asshole. Are you trying to jinx it? Brad grinned. Jinx it? I am telling the truth. This has already happened, the guy answered calmly. <sighs> They're arguing again. Don't waste time. Let's start the assessment quickly, said one of the participants. Is everything in place? I think we don't need to tell you anything about assessing talent. Because you already know everything. Before you enter the lands of the gifts of starlight, pay your respects to the ancestors who rest here, Brad instructed. It is their heroic sacrifice that allows us to continue living in a world full of monsters. Luck smiled on you and you woke up. Today you are here to continue the legacy of your ancestors. Fight for the future of humanity, said Lucas. It is dangerous in these lands. This is your first battle to become truly awakened. If you don't take this seriously, you might die, he exclaimed. These lands are only open for one day, so take advantage of this opportunity. The accompanying talent you receive will depend on your luck, said the guild members. And then the parade ground in front of the participants lit up. Blue lightning descended from the sky. Everything around shone with a bright light and a portal opened. Evaluation begins. All participants entered the portal of steel in anticipation. Is he stupid or what? Everyone continues to read the book. I came here unprepared. Does he want to die? They were discussing behind Mike's back. Hey, I know you. One of the participants said approaching the guy. Are you the famous trash Mike? If you want to cram books, then go read somewhere in a closet. The guy put his hands on his hips and started pointing. Why are you staring? Do you want me to beat you up? Go home. He continued to be rude to Mike. You better take care of yourself, fat man. Mike answered him as he left. What? How dare such trash as you call me fat? The bully turned around and shouted at him. And then he found himself in some kind of dark light. Then in a light blue one. The fat man entered the zone of assessment of the heroic spirit. They sat around. 
Ah! He shouted. He was surrounded by monsters. F-rank monster. Spider with a ghostly face. We are not yet truly awakened. How will we deal with these creatures? The guild members repeated in horror. Heroic exam failed. Look everyone, an ordinary white talent rune. They said looking at the fat man lying on the floor. Eh, the exam failed. Low ranking related talent. There is no bright future for the fat man. They whispered around. Mike still didn't let go of the book. Meanwhile, one of the participants shouted joyfully, P, pass the assessment. Bronze rank. Thank you, heroic ancestor spirit. This is a test of the heroic spirit in the lands of the gifts of starlight. If you pass, you receive an accompanying talent of a certain rank from the heroic spirit of the ancestor. But if you fail, then you can only get a lower rank talent, Mike thought while reading a book. Do you want to go deeper? He thought. In the far reaches of these lands, one can obtain a talent of the highest rank, but the assessment of the spirit will be more terrible, and may even threaten one's life. Better think carefully before moving on. Jessica turned to Mike. Thanks for the warning. I'll give you some advice too. Relying on external forces, you cannot pass the assessment of the heroic spirit, he answered the girl. External forces? Is he talking about them? Just in case, the family prepared E-rank dolls. Even the truly awakened ones will not immediately reveal them. He's just a student, so how can he? Jessica wondered. If this book does not lie, then somewhere nearby there must be a heroic spirit of a silver-ranked warrior. Why hasn't he appeared yet? Mike thought, wandering with a book in search of some sign. Then a stream of blue glow suddenly flew past him. The guy flew off a little. Heroic spirit. Looks puzzled, said the spirit looking at Mike. Sorry. I came to get an accompanying talent of epic rank, Mike whispered. Perhaps this silver rank ancestor spirit sensed that my soul was different from the others. Soul energy is really good at attracting attention. The guy understood. This exam lasts only one day. I can't waste any more time. I need to quickly get what I came here for. In these lands, apart from the dim twinkling of stars, complete darkness reigns. Therefore, it is difficult to navigate here and easy to get lost. Fortunately, all the heroic ancestral spirits are recorded here. They can be used as coordinates and find the shortest path, Mike noted, looking at the next page of the book. The location of this spirit was correct, which means the book did not lie. Then, turning right, I will find myself in the farthest part of the land of gifts of starlight, he decided. Again a stream of bright rays almost knocked Mike down. On the one hand and on the other, the silhouettes seemed to shoot each other with these rays. They flew in the air, one with an arrow, the other with an iron bat and a shield. Why do they fight? Apparently, I underestimated the attractiveness of my soul to the spirits of my ancestors, Mike thought. Sorry, I'm here for epic tier talent, the guy shouted after them, and then the spirits turned to him. One of them flew closer and looked intently at the guy. Then another spirit of the girl flew very close. Sorry, Mike said and began to leave. Along the way, I attracted many, he thought as he left. It seems that this time I have a high chance of getting an epic rank accompanying talent. Suddenly, he heard some sounds. Uh, the guy asked, turning around. Idiot, I warned her. The guy looked out from behind the tree and watched Jessica. The clearing glowed with a yellow light. What's going on? They wailed around. Why is the ancestor of the Mason family so angry? They thought around, looking at the luminous spirit with a bow and three arrows. E-rank skeleton hounds. These were monsters in the form of skeletons, either dogs or dinosaurs. The arrows turned into three E-rank monsters, the girl saw. This is not an examination of the heroic spirit. The ancestor wants to kill me? She exclaimed. Heroic spirit is the ancestor of the Mason family. I am your descendant. Why are you trying to kill me? I asked Jessica. If you offended me, then please tell me the reason, she shouted in defense. Unworthy, unworthy, answered the spirit, releasing arrows. Unworthy, the spirit shot rays of fire at the girl, and then another skeleton of E-rank crept up to her. Bright blue light, she defended herself with dignity. Grandfather always said that my abilities are the best, and I am the hope of the revival of our family, said Jessica. Why did the ancestor get so angry and repeat that I am unworthy? She was indignant. I have to, to be the reason? She wailed with tears in her eyes. Unworthy, get out, the angry spirit continued to repeat. What did I do wrong? Heroic spirit, ancestor, please tell me, the girl cried. Young lady of the Mason family, have you still not realized what you did wrong? Said Mike. You, why are you here? She asked. This, 
Young man, whispered the spirit looking towards Mike and pulled a new bowstring. After my awakening at age 11, I never relaxed for a moment. I practiced hard and even went through severe training. Before coming here, I tempered my soul to the limit of an awakened disciple. I worked so hard on my development so that the heroic spirit, the ancestor, would recognize me, Jessica repeated with resentment and anger. In this century, I am the most outstanding genius of the Mason family, as well as an archer with great potential. I tried my best to get here. The girl pulled herself together. Faced with the spirit of the ancestor today, even if I die, I will still shoot an arrow, she decided. Is this resonance with the heroic spirit? Hmm, Jessica grinned. Looks like it. In this exam, the most important thing is not strength, but will and courage. Mike mentally agreed with her. You took two dolls with you. It's not cheating, but it's still a cowardly act. So that's what he meant, the girl thought. Who is he? Such a person cannot be unknown in the city of Dawn. She became interested. Exam. Passed. Finally, Jessica said, lowering her bow. She glowed with a bright yellow light, just like her spirit, the ancestor. I received the accompanying ancestor talent, the girl exclaimed joyfully. Not bad. I got the accompanying gold rank talent. Looks like your future will be bright. Mike turned to Jessica. Um, thank you, she said embarrassed. Please, the guy answered. Once you have received the talent, then get out of here quickly. Heroic ancestor spirits do not cause harm, but over the years they can mutate into evil and cruel spirits. If you meet someone like this, you will find yourself in a very dangerous situation. Mike thought seriously. Okay. But why did you come here? This is a gold rank spirit zone, asked Jessica. Of course, I came for the best accompanying talent, the guy said with a business-like look. Do you also want a gold rank talent? Is it true? But your aura is weak compared to other awakened students, the girl answered. What do you know? Just help me keep this a secret and don't tell anyone about me, Mike asked. Why does he always act so arrogant, Jessica thought. This is a gold rank zone, but it goes even further? Could it be that he is heading to the deepest part of the lands of the gifts of starlight? She whispered. This place, this is the deepest part of the lands of gifts of starlight. The so-called projection of the gates of hell? Mike reasoned as he walked further. Without a doubt, I am on the right path. He decided. This pressure, the fighting ability of a guardian monster is at least at the level of advanced D-rank. The guy whispered, clenching his will into a fist. The gap in spiritual energy is too great. Even if he doesn't attack me, the spiritual pressure makes itself felt. Even when he's far away, my body can barely stand it. Mike felt. All ranks of spiritual energy. F rank, 1399 points. E rank, 400, 699 points. D rank, 700, 999 points. Advanced D rank, spiritual energy. More than disciple, awakened, spiritual energy. Although these lands do not exactly rely on combat power, if your body cannot withstand this so-called experience, then wisdom and courage will be useless, the guy thought. The concentration of spiritual energy is dozens of times higher than in the outside world. This is the best place for development. Several hours have passed since the assessment began. I still have time. We need to get stronger quickly. Secret art from a past life. Endless Gong Chi. Let's try. Mike began sitting in the lotus position. Infinite Qigong is an epic rank secret technique that I accidentally obtained in my past life. There are various reasons why I was able to achieve so much then, but this technique was irreplaceable, he thought. Streams of blue light swirled in one circle around a bright star. Energy is absorbed faster than in the past. Is it because I got six classes and got an increased absorption rate as a buff? The guy smiled. There is a dense concentration of spiritual energy here. I can consume it as I please. At such a speed, to get results that take others years, I will get it in one day. Mike decided. Amount of spiritual energy, 31. Amount of spiritual energy, 51. The guy counted. Amount of spiritual energy, 99. He finished. The amount of spiritual energy has reached the maximum level for a student of 99 points. Before obtaining the accompanying skill, I am unable to become a true awakened one. My body also cannot absorb more spiritual energy, Mike realized. But spiritual energy of 99 points and strength increased by 6 times should be enough. The guy concluded with a smile. Further, the path was blocked by a huge monster, similar to a giant dog, which lay in front of him on the steps, 
Smelling Mike, the dog stood on all fours. Is this a hellhound? The most ferocious D-rank monster. Especially, the bone soul fire on their bodies is enough to burn the soul. Intimidating. After hundreds of years, someone has finally come to be assessed? The spirits whispered. Let's wait until he defeats the hellhound. E. In the end, this is just a puppy with a piece of the soul of the infernal Cerberus, Mike thought, approaching the dog. Suppression of spiritual energy? The dog rushed at the guy. If this had happened earlier, I would have been scared. But now, he said without fear. Endless chi rush. Breakthrough. This type of spiritual energy suppression. Useless against me. The giant dog opened its mouth menacingly and bared its huge sharp claws. Mike jumped and swung his dagger. As expected, with my current combat power, I can barely scratch you. The guy noticed. But you are just a weak puppy. He did not give up, waving a sharp dagger. Rrr, woof, rrr, the dog threatened in response. After the provocation, he became even more angry. The monster jumped towards the guy, and he opened his gigantic mouth, revealing large, sharp teeth. Mike was knocked off his feet. In the end, this is just a land for evaluating awakened disciples. Where would they get a real D-rank hellhound for the sake of evaluation, he thought. Taking his will into his fist, the guy unclenched his fingers and seemed to hit a dog. The monster began to crumble into many fragments. As a student, I am strong, but how much stronger can I become? In these lands, the key to success is wisdom, will, and courage, he realized. As soon as I provoked him, he became angry. Real hellhounds are immortal, and like all immortal creatures, emotions are alien to them. Not to mention falling into a rage, Mike thought. This is just a projection to scare the candidate. Check whether he has the fighting skills and courage to resist such a monster. The guy figured out their tactics, and he moved further along the bright blue shiny road to the open gate. So this is the so-called Gate of Hell? I'm a little excited, he whispered, and entered the gates of the unknown. The farthest corner of these lands, and it looks like this, doesn't look like Hell. It looks more like the Valley of Sacrifice. Does epic rank really exist? Said the guy, approaching a waterfall surrounded by rocks. Something is suspicious, a thought flashed. Your, is this aura? Has it reached S rank? Mike thought. What power? It won't be long before you die. He ducked, and he took a self-defense stance. Again, a powerful stream of light illuminated everything around. Epic rank heroic spirit, stop. He approached the guy. Now they both glowed with a bright light. A huge, sharp sword glittered in the spirit's hand. Senior, stop doubting. I didn't get here because of my luck, and I want to see what the epic rank can do said Mike. You, a simple student, but dare to come here? Do you want to see what an epic rank spirit can do? Tired of living? The spirit got angry. In tribute to your past life, I propose to test me not through negotiations. In the end, this test is all about strength. It seems that an epic rank spirit has retained all the knowledge from its past life, so it will be much stronger than a gold rank spirit. Otherwise, you admit that you cannot compete even with a disciple. The guy dared to answer. What an eloquent fellow. Did you think that if you got here, you could defeat a representative of epic rank? You. So naive, I will show you what the power of a heroic spirit of epic rank means. The spirit said in response to him, and he raised his sword in front of him. This, Mike started. I was in the arena in a second. No, no, the guy thought. Amount of spiritual energy. My spiritual energy has reached E rank. This... He was surprised. Just now, his speeches were so arrogant. Let's see what he says when he gets there. Thought the spirit standing in front of the guy. Dennis waited until we were distracted and secretly made his way to the guy himself. How pathetic he is. Dennis got to rank S during his lifetime, I guess in the same way, huh? Ugh. The spirit said around. For the first time in hundreds of years, a junior has come here. But the epic rank is too hard for students. However, he has an incredible physique that seems to belong to all classes at once. The young man is truly an extraordinary talent. They agreed among themselves. What is Dennis doing now? The guy passed. How dare he? This is against the rules. Let us check it out too, you stingy fellow. The spirits were indignant. The epic rank is so powerful that it was able to transport me to the arena of the dream world, Mike thought in the meantime. A sharp sword flashed here. Come on. In the Dream World Arena, you and I both have E rank. Being in the same position, if I make even one mistake, then you will pass the test. Dennis turned to him. Same rank, 
but you don't even use weapons to fight me? Do you think that based on the experience of an S-rank god of war, you can defeat me? Mike was not at a loss. This is incomparably skillful use of a sword. A student is capable of this? The spirit was surprised. Even with weapons in hand, it would be difficult to resist such a merciless attack, especially... He continued. Mike skillfully dodged in battle. Ah, I can't evade. Meanwhile, the spirit was wailing. How... Is this possible? The skills he shows are even stronger than mine? It feels like I'm fighting a god of war of at least SS rank, he wondered. I have never seen such a person even during my lifetime. A true genius? Thought the spirit. Don't worry about me, Mike said. Give it your all in this battle, he continued. The warrior spirit clenched his fists, taking his will into a fist. Having gained strength, he stood in a wrestler's stance. Come on, their swords merged in a duel. Bang, bang, the ringing of sharp metal is heard. Bang, Mike hit the sword raised above him. Dropped it, the spirit shouted, losing his weapon. Ten strokes, Mike counted. You lost, the guy said proudly. Yes, I lost, the spirit agreed. Perfect test completion, then. This should be enough to get an epic rank accompanying talent. With him, the starting point of this life will be much higher than in the last one. The guy decided. Where is he? But what about my talent? The guy thought, losing sight of the spirit. Did I really overdo it so much that it disappeared completely? The epic spirit couldn't do that. Mike was upset. But then he appeared before him unexpectedly. Back! So fast. Is the test over yet? Lucas didn't pass on the talent, which means the guy lost, the others whispered. But why has he not returned to consciousness yet? He... He's still in the dream world arena. Lucas, have you completed the test yet? They asked. I lost, the spirit admitted. What? Did you lose to this brat? You're kidding, right? You were both E-rank. This is impossible. You gave in on purpose, yes. Those around him did not let up. No giveaways. I really suffered a complete defeat. This young man's skills are not inferior to ours. I have a plan, Lucas said. Lucas, are you crazy? But we can try, the spirits repeated. Moreover, your words alone are not enough to convince us, they continued. I have an idea on how to make this plan even more crazy, Lucas whispered. This is... Meanwhile, Mike thought, coming to his senses. Six epic rank spirits appeared at once. I didn't expect that, in the City of Dawn, in the most remote place powered by starlight, there would be so many epic rank heroic spirits. What kind of fierce battles were once fought here? He wondered. Even when he saw the six of us, he didn't even blink an eye. Show us what backs up your courage. The spirits turned to the guy. Young man, you defeated Lucas and received our approval. And now we want to invite you to take a test of a higher rank. The spirits continued. Fight with us, six epic spirits. If you defeat us, then everyone will give you their accompanying talent. If not, then you will leave with nothing. The six spirits made the final decision. If I defeat you, will I be able to get epic talents for each class? This is... Drops of sweat poured down the guy's face from great excitement. Young man, you must think carefully. You can also leave now with the talent of an epic rank warrior. The spirits gave him the right to choose. Judging by your appearance, you don't have enough strength. It's better to give up and leave with what you have. But I thought that we were going to have fun now, the spirit girl said with a malicious smile. Ha ha. Interesting. How interesting. I understand what you mean, but the challenge has already been thrown. Mike answered with a malicious laugh. Your determination to face countless monsters and create a better world is still strong. I accept this challenge. Let's get started. The guy answered them with confidence. How self-confident. And arrogant. I like it, said one of the spirits. Let's begin. Taking his will into his fist and sword in his hand, Mike shouted, Young man, be careful. The eldest of the spirits warned him. The six elders have known each other for many years. They definitely have mutual understanding and some kind of agreement. First, I have to destroy it all. The guy decided. First, I'll deal with this one, who is constantly hiding in the dark. Thief, he planned. Have a taste. Mike struck one of the spirits with a sword. Snuck up from behind and the guy sensed someone behind him. Archer reflexes are no joke. With the same rank in a battle between a warrior and a thief, the second is at a disadvantage. What? The spirit exclaimed, and he flew several meters away from the powerful blow. An epic rank thief leaves the battle. One blow. He will defeat us all, the others whispered. Boy, don't be so cocky. Now we will fight seriously. The warriors decided. Speed of a thief. Archer reaction. Not so difficult, Mike thought. 
The insight of a magician also helps a lot, he noted. Drops of sweat rolled down his face, in a serious battle with the spirits. What? Paralyzing lightning strike didn't work? The guy was worried. The knight's constitution and will block magic. A magician at close range for a warrior is as fragile as a piece of glass. Having defeated him, Mike realized. A magician of epic rank is leaving the battle, the guy said proudly. And without letting go of the sword, he stood in a stance. The spirit girl took an attack position. The enormous strength of a warrior is amazing. An epic rank archer leaves the battle. Hmm. I can't keep track of him. Detain the guy, I will call a huge bear that will crush him, said one of the remaining spirits. And then the roar of a giant grizzly bear was heard in the violet rays of magical light, slowing down the sacred light. I can't move, Mike groaned, and tried to push the bear away with the power of thought. Stopped, thought the guy. The essence of the summoner is the affinity with the summoned monster, he thought, keeping his sights on the bear. Hurr! Arr! The thug howled with rage and pain. How is it? An epic rank knight leaves the battle. I lost control over the bear, the spirit girl said with excitement. Is there a chance for a summoner who has lost his guardian to change the outcome of the battle? Mike asked, approaching the girl. A summoner of epic rank leaves the battle, and the warrior's spirit sank in defeat. Too long. Your comrades have already lost. Do you intend to continue? No, you already defeated me before. I don't see the point in repeating it, answered the remaining spirit warrior. Gifted young man, you have passed the test with six representatives of epic rank, the main spirit began. Your body, will, fighting spirit. All this is slightly superior to any test subject, including each of us during life. Accept our talents, the spirit said, sharing their talents. So I will still get the talents of each class? Can they all exist in one body? Mike thought. No, they begin to merge together, the guy felt. Talents are mixed, and the aura emanating from them already exceeds the epic rank, he felt. Related talent above epic rank? What kind of rank is this then? The elder exclaimed. Ah, uh, at the last stage of the merger, there is a very high probability of failure. Mike felt it was difficult to withstand the flow of energy. Oh, hey, a little more. No, I can't fail. He mentally suffered. In the name of Oliver, unite! Shed starlight! The guy wailed. In his hands was the heart of all energies of the strongest ranks. Since the appearance of the Awakened Ones, various accompanying talents have appeared. Iron, bronze, silver. In the minds of the majority, the gold rank was already considered the highest rank of talent. As for the epic rank, for most ordinary people it was just a fairy tale. But can there be anything higher than epic? Unprecedented mythical talent, Mike exclaimed in delight. Mythic rank, the heart of a brave man. The heart of a brave man is the strongest talent. It manifests itself in the heat of battle. After defeating the enemy, you can obtain its source, restore strength, and increase power. Those who have the heart of a brave man bravely break through difficulties. In a desperate situation, he can ignite the spirit and blood, increasing his power ten times. I didn't expect that there was something above the epic rank. We are honored to see such a miracle. After so many years of waiting, we fought with a worthy opponent. Now we will leave without regrets, the spirits repeated with confidence and pride. Mike, I hope you will faithfully serve the City of Dawn in this entire world, for the sake of Starlight. They instructed the guy. I will definitely fulfill all my wishes, the guy answered. His book, which he never let go of, became a faithful assistant in acquiring talents. Wow, this is gold rank. Is this the famous daughter of the Mason family? No wonder she received a gold rank. I worked so hard to get the bronze rank. This is the difference between us and geniuses? The participants whispered behind the girls' backs. As expected from the first genius of the Mason family. She received a gold rank accompanying talent, simply amazing, exclaimed one of the warriors. All thanks to the Elder Lucas, and I'm not amazing at all. The girl was slightly modest. Jessica, you are so modest. This is gold rank. In the City of Dawn, this happens once every ten years. But some of the warrior's guild boasted of their strength before the test. And now... The warrior sneered. Lucas, your archer guild can only rely on luck. Sooner or later, the warrior's guild will also have a chance to get a gold rank. Brad shouted with envy. Come on, I can't wait, Leo replied. These two are starting again, the warriors whispered from the side. Where is that guy? He hasn't returned from the test yet? Jessica thought about Mike. The gate will close soon. I will inform you that the test is now complete, said the chief. It's not time yet. We need to wait for someone, the girl said with excitement. If someone has not returned yet, 
Then his test has failed, answered the warrior. He will come now. Jessica did not let up. And I was thinking about who you are. And this is this trash, Mike. He was just hiding there to avoid the test with the spirits and now he's back. The guy laughed. So his name is Mike, the girl whispered. Flawed. The participants began to laugh at him. Guy, what rank did you get in this test? Brad asked him. Oh, this light, he shouted in confusion. Gold rank! Oh, goo. This time there are already two gold ranks? Exclaims are heard around. The heart of a brave man is a talent that allows you to exhibit any rank. Demonstrating a gold rank, just like in my previous life, is enough. This should attract the necessary attention from the Warriors Guild, Mike decided. Bunch of idiots? Stop always trying to make fun of others? Better think about how to improve your skills. Ah, we crossed the path of the future big shot of the City of Dawn. Everyone around who laughed at him was perplexed. Did Mike achieve gold rank? But he went to the very depths, and the rank that can be obtained there. The girl thought, shh, the guy gestured to Jessica. Mike, how many secrets do you have? He was in the very depths of the lands of Gifts of Starlight. She did not let up. Bearded man, have you seen enough? Mike turned to Brad. I passed this test, he said, looking into his eyes. Asshole, are you calling me names? I... Brad began. Mike, you're great. It's not for nothing that our Warriors Guild put so much effort into your training, he laughed, grabbing the guy by the shoulder. How shameless. We didn't even know about this young man before. And you still call him a warrior in whom we invested strength? Ugh. The crowd was indignant. I don't care. The appearance of two gold-ranked fighters in this test is already a historical event, said the bearded man. This needs to be reported urgently. What? This time as many as two received the gold rank? Amazing. Sounded around. This is a historical event. Who are these two? One is the Mason's daughter, Jessica. But that was expected. And the second, some unfamiliar name. The warriors discussed what had happened. Mike, Fred thought. What? Mike got gold rank? This, this is impossible. He growled with envy. And here before us is the City of Dawn, the Guild of Warriors. Is this Mike? One of the test participants who received a gold rank. Gifted. How promising. Wow. What a handsome guy. He's just my type, said one of the participants looking at the guy. Young and cute, I would have eaten him. Ha <laughs> ha. You. This handsome guy may not like girls. My daughter just turned 17. She suits him so well. The bearded man laughed nearby. It seems I underestimated the influence of the gold rank, the guy thought. Mike, everything is ready, the secretary called him. From now on, you are a full-fledged awakened one of our guild. I, as a representative of the Warrior Guild of the City of Dawn, greet you. Ha ha ha, Brad said with a laugh. Mike, follow me. You need to get a reward that suits you, he called the guy. It seems the guild treats its members well, Mike thought. Senior Arthur, is this Mike? What a respectable young man said the treasurer of the Warriors Guild, Oscar. This is a reward that comes with gold rank, Mr. Arthur. Check it out. Unpredictable fist blade? This is one of the strongest skills of the warrior class. Treasurer Oscar, you are so kind. Our guild doesn't often have an awakened one with a gold rank, so we must put all our efforts into his development. Haha, <laughs> said Arthur. Ten starting rank star stones? What a wonderful reward for reaching gold rank. At one time, I had only one such stone, said the bearded man. This is a skill, Mike whispered. Mike, in the first days after waking up, learning new skills is most effective. I advise you to start as soon as possible, Oscar addressed the guy. Of course, how interesting. I'm already in a hurry, Mike answered with a smile. Brother Oscar, how did it go? Fred rushed towards him with curiosity. Fred, I'm more reliable at solving problems than you are. That altered book has already been given to Mike. He will begin learning the skill, and in a couple of days, he will become insane. Oscar thought, standing outside the door. At that moment, you will send a request to the guild for a duel, and then you will get rid of him in front of everyone, without a single mistake. He grinned. Brother Oscar always does everything perfectly. If I get rid of Mike, then Mike's family's inheritance will go to me, and I will thank you from the bottom of my heart, Fred told him. We are all just following orders from above. You can figure out the reward yourself, Oscar thought. Mike, even if you are a gold-ranked genius, you will still die at my hands. And everything that belongs to Mike's family will become mine. Fred grinned. I'm afraid the one who handed over the unpredictable fist blade was also not simple. Even Oscar, with his C rank, could not recognize the problem. 
If it had been someone else in my place, there would have been trouble. Mike was thinking meanwhile, sitting behind a book. Judging by Oscar's actions, he is also involved in all this. But does this situation have anything to do with idiot Fred? And also this Arthur, the previous head of the awakened community, and the disappearance of Mike's parents. Interesting. It turns out that there are so many behind-the-scenes intrigues and mysterious personalities swirling around Mike's family. The guy tried to put together a picture. Okay, I'll play along with you, Mike planned. The defect of instilling such talents in a beginner is very primitive, so I can easily win it back. You want to play out a ridiculous situation with a trick like this. But when the time comes, if Chief Arthur is nearby, Oscar will not be able to interfere. Moreover, I have these ten star stones. I just need them, Mike decided. Star stones are crystals containing the concentrated power of a star gate. They are divided into initial rank, highest, and so on. By absorbing Stargate energy through these crystals, Awakened Ones can quickly develop their power and improve their skills. This is considered a rare treasure. Although I understand all the skills of a high and even divine level, if I want to quickly improve my strength, I must start over, the guy thought. Although I haven't learned it in my previous life, I know that Unpredictable Fist Blade is a very strong entry-level skill. It can be used up to D rank. Although it is quite difficult to develop this skill, it does not mean anything to me, he reasoned. Use your fist like a blade. Rotate it as if this part of the flesh is part of the sword. The concept of this skill is very unusual. Several key points for using spiritual energy were spoiled, but I can correct it, Mike decided, clenching his fist. I hope that ten initial rank crystals will be enough for me to completely master this skill, he thought. Let's begin. Sitting in the lotus position, he said, boy. It hurts, he groaned. It's like someone is scraping my bones, Mike added without unclenching his fist. Unpredictable fist blade is the strongest basic skill of the warrior class, the difficulty of acquiring which I slightly underestimated. Even though I awakened all six classes at the same time, my strength and flexibility improved dramatically. But if I finish the training in one go, I might hurt my hands. You can do it in ten days or half a month. If one of the other warriors wanted to master this skill, it would take him at least one year the guy thought. But this only makes it more interesting. He smiled. Come on, it's just a basic skill. Mike continued what he had started, sitting in the lotus position. Concentrate, the guy encouraged himself, and taking the sword in his hands he stood up. Warrior skill F, rank unpredictable fist blade. It was not in vain that I spent ten starting rank star stones and a whole day to completely master it, he thought, looking at what he had done. And when I moved to the next rank, this rank will also rise to a higher level. Well, I'm done. You can go out, the guy concluded. Mike, you're back, Fred said. This is a challenge to a duel to determine which of us will become the heir to Mike's family. Fred continued, showing him the paper. Do you accept my challenge? He asked Mike in front of the rest of the guild. Official call? They whispered around. How funny you are. I am also awakened now, so the inheritance will remain mine questions. Why on earth are you getting involved in this matter, you ungrateful brat? Mike was indignant. Isn't this Fred? He was raised by Mike's family. So is this the little rat? How dare he argue with Mike over the legacy of Mike's family? He caused a scandal in our guild. He must be expelled. The soldiers around were indignant. Look carefully at this paper. Here is actually the official seal of the awakened community. Fred did not let up. This is Mike's family business, no need to make a fuss. What? How did the community allow this conflict to arise in the first place? Ugh, there are only idiots at the top who decide things in a dirty way. Watch your words. Don't bring trouble on yourself, the guild members continued. Mike's family estate has already been transferred to my name. If you don't accept the challenge, then you automatically renounce all claims to the estate, and this is your home, where Mike's family raised you all these years. Fred continued. I am angry because the memories of that young man affect me this way. This self-willed bastard is not even worth my anger. Mike reassured himself. Well, are you ready to take on a life or death challenge? Fred asked again. Um. Seeing the bright light streaming from Mike, Fred muttered in horror. You. When? He said in bewilderment. I accept your challenge, Mike answered the guy. I didn't even notice his movements. Are such changes also related to the awakening of the gold rank? Fred thought. It's good that we edited the teaching of the predictable fist blade. 
I will wait until in the midst of the battle, this idiot suddenly becomes uncontrollable. And then, an insidious thought stuck in his head. His end will be near, he whispered, holding the blade. Skill E, rank, shadow. Fred began to glow green. Bronze rank talent. Charge. E rank skill snake attack, he continued. Ha! Huh, this trick again? Can you come up with something new? Mike asked. Grabbed with one hand? I dodged. How is this possible? Fred thought in horror. And here is your wonderful modified skill, Mike grinned. Unpredictable fist blade. Bam! A powerful blow pushed Fred away. Having flown to the floor, he turned over. Pete, why didn't anything happen? Fred grinned. Well done, Mike. So let the Thieves' Guild see our power. Fred is just trash. Don't mention our guild. We have nothing to do with him. They said around. It's not for nothing that this is a gold rank that appears once every ten years. He mastered the unpredictable fist blade in just one day and has already brought it to such a level that he can crush an E-rank thief without straining. Isn't this common for the gifted? The guild members continued to discuss what was happening. Bang! Mike came at Fred with another blow, and he fell back to the floor. I didn't expect you to be so lively, Mike said holding his fist at the ready. Didn't think I'd wear a protective gold vest? You're just an insignificant F-rank warrior. What can you do to me? Fred grinned. Ugh, how disgusting. He challenged him to a fight and put on a protective vest himself. So what? Anyone can buy one for themselves. The rules do not prohibit wearing protection, they said around. Mike, you were very lucky last time, but today you have to die, Fred hissed, and rushed at him with a sword. Double snake attack! Fred, you're just a narrow-minded idiot, Mike said, and he put up a purple defense with his fist. How did you so easily fight off a double snake attack? Fred asked in bewilderment. Did you think I didn't know you were wearing a vest? I understood this from the first blow. I just decided to play along with you. Having seen a glimmer of hope, it's very unpleasant to be disappointed again, right? Mike answered him. But now, there is no mercy. Feel the real power of an unpredictable fist blade, the guy continued. And with a powerful blow, he pushed Fred away. Everything around them glowed with violet rays. Having struck the daring enemy again, he flew away again, sprawled on the floor. Why? Nothing happens. Are you wondering why, after mastering this skill, nothing happens to me? Mike turned to him. You... you know about everything. Ha! Huh. If you are so stupid, it doesn't mean that the rest are the same, the guy continued. Fred, I'll let you live. He felt sorry for the rebel. Tell me who is behind this, and about my parents. Then I will spare you, Mike said, coming closer to him. Fred thought, beads of sweat running down his dirty cheeks. Cough. Was there poison in his mouth? Mike saw drops of the guy's saliva mixed with poison. Mike, you will never know what happened to your parents. Even if you are gifted, your powers are weak, Fred said, and you will be crushed, just like a little ant. The guy thought in response to his phrase, and then Fred collapsed, breathing his last. This selfish and ungrateful bastard agrees to die but not reveal the truth, Mike realized. It seems that those who are behind all this have great power in the City of Dawn. Now that Fred is dead, they will definitely take the next step, and it will put me in danger again. The guy decided. And let it be. I can't wait to see how strong those who are hiding behind the scenes are. He grinned. But now, I am only a measly F rank. I am very weak. But given the situation, increasing combat power is a top priority. And now we see the outskirts of the awakened community. Mike, sitting in the lotus position, holds a transparent blue crystal in the air, around which the bright rays of blue light which seems to dissolve into a bright powder. This physique is amazing. The energy absorption rate is too fast. I spent the last star stone, the guy thought. When I received F rank, my spiritual energy was equal to, and today, it's already 246 units, he realized. In theory, one star stone is equal to 10 units of spiritual value. But this is just a theory. In fact, during the Awakened One's mastery of skills, most of the energy is wasted. Absorption percentage 10%. In fact, for an ordinary awakened person, when mastering a skill, if the percentage of energy absorption reaches 10%, then this is already a good result. Absorption percentage, 30%. If the absorption percentage is 30% or higher, then I will already be considered a gifted awakened one. Mike concluded. After spending 20 starting rank star stones, I gained 141 points. That is, the absorption percentage was 70%, the guy calculated. In a past life, even when using the epic rank secret technique Infinite Gong Chi, 
the absorption rate only reached 40%. It seems that in this body, this technique will reveal itself in all its glory. He smiled. What a pity that this place is only the outskirts of the awakened community, so the stellar energy here is limited. Otherwise, during this time, it seems to me, I would be able to rise to 300 units of spiritual value, Mike summed up, stretching while standing in front of the window. This Robert really suggests itself. First I dealt with Fred, and then I went to return the estate of Mike's family, he thought. After the estate passed into Fred's possession, it no longer has anything to do with Mike's family. Upon Fred's death, the estate is transferred to the ownership of the awakened community. You have awakened, but you are only F rank. I'll give you community apartments, now disappear. The man with glasses said to the guy with a business-like look, Ha, huh, this estate is such a tasty morsel for all of you. Mike got angry. But Robert is an awakened S rank. With my current powers, I cannot resist him. We need to improve our skills, and then we'll wait and see. The guy didn't get too upset. However, I miscalculated one thing, he thought, holding his head. There are funds left in Mike's family account equal to the amount that is only enough for 20 starting rank star stones. It seems that over the years they have spent a lot of effort to make up for the shortcomings of my body, the boy realized. I never thought that the day would come when I would have a headache because of money problems. This is what it's all about, he wailed, holding his head. Mike opened his palm in which the orange stone glowed. Need more star stones. We need to get acquainted with the guild's tasks. Maybe we can earn some extra money, the guy decided. F rank task. Return the underwear to Lady Liz, who dropped it in the dark tunnel. Reward 1,000 and one merit. F rank task. Clear the outskirts of the city from stray epileptic skeleton dogs. Reward 1,500 and two merits. E rank task. Explore the ruins near the southern wall of the city. Reward 10,000 and 10 merits. Mike read. The rewards for these tasks are good, but they give little merit. 100 merit points are exchanged for one star stone of the initial rank. I finished reading the next page on the monitor. Maybe try D rank tasks? Maybe something will work out, the guy thought. But successfully completing a D rank task immediately after waking up will attract a lot of attention. Mike thought a step forward. Now I am under the wing of the Warriors Guild, so no one will dare touch me. But if you overdo it, then all these important bumps will immediately hatch, and I can't openly resist them yet, he decided. How can I make money without attracting special attention? The guy puzzled. Various thoughts were spinning in his brain. E-rank task, explore the surroundings of the moss forest, reward 20,000 and 20 merits. It seems there's something interesting in this forest. Mike thought, looking at the photo. Here we see a suburb, the dislocation of the awakened. The moss forest is on this side, the guy thought, looking at the direction signs. Mike, Alice called out to him. Did you also accept the task with the moss forest? She asked the guy. She, yeah, he answered. What a coincidence. Maybe you will join our ranks. This girl came so close, Mike thought. Alice, you must first ask the commander before calling anyone to the team, he answered the girl. For an E-rank team, an F-rank will only be a burden, said E-rank knight Charlie. Charlie, Mike is not a burden, he's... Alice smiled and fell silent. Are you Mike? Charlie, you are so ignorant. This is a participant in the test who this time, like Alice, received a gold rank, said one of the warriors. Hi, I'm Marvin, E-rank archer. Welcome to our team, the warrior introduced himself to him. You are so polite. Hello, Commander Marvin. Mike shook his hand. What's so special about gold rank? After all, he is now an ordinary F-rank warrior, and for our team, he is just a burden, one of the team's warriors whispered. Charlie, don't talk nonsense. Marvin stopped him. It's time to move out. The team decided and continued on their way. And now we see the surroundings of the moss forest. Monsters were wandering around. Alice pulled the bowstring with a burning arrow, ready for battle. Her arrow easily killed one of the monsters. Before us is an E-rank monster, a twisted ebony tree. Bang! Hit Marlin's growling tree with his shield. Charlie pulled his arrow, helping the team members against the monsters. New sword defense, bang, the blow rang. The commander dealt with this E-rank monster so easily, Charlie laughed in delight. Mike, do you understand now? An E-rank task is not always within the capabilities of an ordinary F-rank, said the warrior. Charlie, what are you talking about? Alice was indignant. The first arrow was mine, so you want to say that I am F-rank, too worthless for this matter? She continued. Alice, I'm not talking about you. I told Mike that, Charlie got out. If you say that about Mike, then about me too, he's F-ranked, but according to you, he's not. The girl continued to be indignant. Ambush attack! 
Watch out, Alice! One of the warriors shouted. A sharp wooden stake almost pierced the girl. Mike ran up to her with lightning speed, repelling the enemy's attack. He was there. The guy pointed into the forest. I'll figure it out, said Thief E, rank from Marlin's team. And instantly he caught up with the twisted tree, an E-rank archer, which tried to attack the warrior with burning purple arrows. Meanwhile, Mike and Alice stood nearby watching what was happening. Thank you, Mike. The girl thanked the guy with a smile. We are one team, he replied. This worthless ballast constantly finds ways to hit on Alice, you freak. Charlie got angry. That's what I thought. The warrior continued to get angry looking at them. Something is wrong with this part of the moss forest. The radiance of the Stargate and the breath of darkness. The struggle between these two opposites never ends. As long as there is darkness under the starlight, and among the darkness there are glimpses of starlight, there will be a balance of everything that exists. The greatest fluctuations from the breath of darkness in any area cause the local monsters to appear. This is why more and more monsters appear in the outskirts of the moss forest. Of course I am more interested not in this, but in the fact that, as the darkness thickens, more and more unusual treasures will appear. This is my real goal. Watching Mike was thinking behind the forest, continuing the journey, following the team. The last star beacon has been installed. The task of exploring the surroundings of the moss forest is completed. Well done to all of you. Form up. Let's go back to camp, Marvin said to his warriors. Are we going back? Great. A little later I'll secretly come back here alone, Mike decided. Commander, is it already time to return? This is an E-rank reward. It's not enough to divide among all of us. Charlie turned to Marvin. Charlie, you... Our team is strong enough. We can move a little deeper and see what else we can collect. Then this will definitely be enough for us all. The commander answered him. Okay, we can try. Does anyone have any objections? Marvin addressed the team. We obey the commander, answered the soldiers. Mike, when we move deeper into the moss forest, you, with your F rank, will only become a burden for us. Leave the team. Charlie did not let up. This idiot is constantly looking for reasons to kick me out of the team. The guy grinned in response. Charlie, Mike earned a gold rank. His skills are not what you think he... Lin Shi. Alice defended the guy indignantly. The Moss Forest is considered an E-rank terrain. The level of danger there is much higher than you suggest. With you on the team, I'm already feeling a lot of stress if we take Mike too, said the commander. But a tear ran down the girl's cheek. Alice, Commander Marvin is right. My strength is not enough. The most reasonable thing, of course, would be to leave the team. The guy answered them. I just want to go alone, Cretan. Be happy and don't do anything wrong, he thought. Mike, our team's strength is limited. Forgive us. I will share the reward for the task in the vicinity of the moss forest for you too, the commander said, patting the guy on the shoulder. It's okay. I myself understand the level of my strength. Thank you, Commander Marlin. Mike politely answered him. Finally, this freak will leave, Charlie thought. Meanwhile, the dark aura of the forest has intensified and it is quite dangerous for an E-rank team to rush into the depths of the forest. Well, it's unlikely that anything bad will happen to Alice. Mike was worried. Those two humble fellows were not E-rank awakened. They were D-rank. These are most likely the bodyguards sent by Alice's family to guard her. But the girl doesn't know about it. The guy thought about the two warriors hiding in the darkness. Finally, I'm alone. Let's get down to business. Mike was satisfied. Yeah, the guy made a jump. The concentration of dark aura here is stronger than on the outskirts. We prefer to live near the stargates, and these creatures also prefer places with an aura similar to theirs, Mike reasoned. Monster E, rank mad twisted ebony tree. He scrolled through his head. A rabid monster, under the influence of a dark aura, decided to attack from cover. However, the guy thought, This won't work with me, he shouted, attacking the monster. Bang bang struck one after another breaking through the protection of a twisted ebony tree. I use 70% of my powers and can only break through his defense. But even this is enough. These black trees are very afraid of fire, Mike realized. In this body, I have not yet mastered such class spells, but it won't be difficult to create a small flame, the guy decided. Flame is an unpredictable fist blade, and raise the weapon with bright fire. The monster attacked Mike, and he in turn attacked the ebony tree with the power of fire. By knowing the monster's weaknesses and using the right skills, you can achieve success. Even an E-rank monster with strong defense can be defeated in one blow. 
The guy rejoiced after defeating the tree, but summoning the flame and combining it with the unpredictable fist blade skill was costly. Too much spiritual energy was wasted, he realized. It looks like I should start learning other skills as soon as possible, Mike instructed himself. Looking at the smoldering ebony tree, from which only ash and a stream of smoke remained. The bright light did not fade away around the guy's head. The spent energy is quickly restored, and with each battle, my skills will become more and more effective. The heart of a brave man is the restoration of energy after defeating an enemy. You can get the source of his powers. Regain your power and become stronger. This is a real gift. This way, I don't even have to worry about the duration of the battle. Mike concluded. He bent down in front of the burnt monster in whose place lay a blue stone. As the darkness thickened, these unclean astrolites, written in a dark aura, began to appear in the bodies of black trees, the guy noticed. The star power in this astrolite is equal to only a tenth of that contained in star crystals. However, such astrolites contain a large amount of dark energy, and in the hands of an ordinary person, this astrolite can be extremely dangerous. Even if one of the awakened ones discovers astrolites, for them it is a useless thing, but I'm not like them, Mike reasoned, holding the stone in his palm. I know an epic secret art that is enough to purify the dark energy of the astrolite and obtain the pure energy of the stars, the guy concluded with a smile. Meanwhile, not a single ebony monster was approaching him. It looks like there is a large supply of astrolites here, Mike realized when he heard a noise behind him. Then let's begin, and he took a fighting stance, drawing his fiery blade. Many monsters surrounded the guy. Bang, bang. All you could hear was him struggling with a pile of black trees. Bright flames swirled around terrible monsters. Red and yellow fiery lightning pierced them while Mike fought a hard fight. Two more monsters ran up to him. Grr, grr, they made evil sounds. Ah, overdone it. But with such a strong body, with the skill of a magician's insight and the dexterity of an archer, I was able to quickly react to the enemy's attacks, the guy thought. Even though these black trees are E-rank, there are a lot of them. But he was not at a loss. Do you think this is enough to scare me away? Heart of a brave man. Restoring energy, he said, concentrating in the yellow flame. One more time! Pa! A strong physique along with the heart of a brave man will help me dodge the attacks of E-rank monsters. Such a fight is something I couldn't even think about, being an F-rank, he thought while repelling the attacks. At this speed, I will achieve E-rank in a short time, Mike concluded. Ah, oh, what are those sounds around? What is it? The corpses of these black trees were absorbed by another tree. The strange things happening in this forest of moss exceeded all my expectations, the guy thought. Trouble again, Mike squatted down, blocked. Yeah, these trees make it seem like the moss forest is alive. Looking around, he was surprised. The guy froze. The roots of the trees began to reach out to him from all sides. Mike quickly dodged, and the root of the tree twisted a huge stone, breaking it into pieces. What a strong destructive power. Faced with such a situation, being in the forest which is like a living organism, even a small E-rank team, and even a D-rank awakened one, could not do much. I'm just an ordinary F-rank, here I'm simply useless. My strength is not even enough to compare with a D-rank. Mike thought seriously. All that remains is to dodge, and he continued his dangerous path through the branches and roots of trees. Endless Gong Chi accumulation of strength. He put his hands in the position of accumulating energy. This secret skill allows blood and spiritual energy to circulate in the body at a low speed. Without sudden movements, a person becomes as if made of stone and is difficult to recognize. These trees don't have eyes, they won't be able to detect me, the guy noted. It seems that with such strong changes, the energy source of the moss forest has undergone mutation. He understood. The forest is so huge that if I want to find the source of the mutation, it will be extremely difficult, Mike thought. Huh? These twisted trees tracked me? How is it? Even D-rank monsters with better perception could not detect me. The guy was surprised. The target of these twisted trees is not me, he realized. Again, the blows with bright blue rays. Bang, bang. They pierced like swords into the ground. Groom, groom. It was a small baby tree. This, the kid sat down holding his head with his hands like branches. Groom, groom, he muttered something and he turned around in fear, as if he was afraid of those twisted trees. Whoosh, whoosh, Mike dodged several blows. A small monster tree cuddled up to the guy when he saved him from the big trees. This little creature has a large amount of stellar energy in its body, and the dark aura did not affect it at all. Do you, do you understand me? The guy asked the tree. Groom, groom, muttered the baby. 
He understands my speech, even thanks me. This creature is quite smart. This kid, really. Mike tried to understand. Kid, do you know where the source of the dark aura is in this forest? The guy asked him. Grum? He answered, taking a step in that direction. Do you really know? You're also hurrying up. Mike was delighted. Okay, let's go, Grum! And the guy ran as fast as he could with the baby in his arms. Meanwhile, large tree monsters attacked the team of warriors. Commander, now, repulsed Charlie's attack. In one blow, fireballs and lightning were flying around. The warriors fought off the attack of the monsters. Another one was flying in a jump. Be careful! A fiery ray of light rushed towards the warrior. The team had streams of sweat running down their faces from such a powerful fight. Alice, look, this is how you need to deal with E-rank black trees in one go for it to be effective. Without the burden of Mike, our team is moving very quickly, Charlie told the girl. How disgusting this Charlie is, he continues to act arrogant. He didn't even understand how dangerous it was just now. At the same time, fighting E-rank monsters is too much for our team. The girl was indignant. I don't even know how Mike is doing. But I think his skills are not as simple as they seem, Alice continued her thought. Commander Marvin, is something wrong? What? One of the warriors turned to him. You didn't notice that the bodies of the killed trees... The commander began in surprise. The bodies of the black trees have disappeared. Disappeared! He exclaimed. The forest absorbs the bodies of black trees, this... What is this? The warriors could not understand. These branches of black trees, why? Thought Charlie in fear of the branches approaching him. Commander Marvin, save me! He shouted, suffocating in the branches that enveloped him. Aha! Charlie! Everyone be careful! Exclaimed the commander. What's wrong with these trees? It looks like the whole forest came to life in an instant, the team reasoned. Ch! Human! Awakened! You! All will be buried here! The trees screamed, enveloping Charlie in their branches. Charlie was taken by Ebony? How is this possible? These E-rank trees, how could they deal with a person of the same level so easily? The team of warriors could not understand. Human awakened. Die! The monster screamed, lifting Charlie higher and higher. Skill E-rank. Fiery arrow! The commander pulled the bowstring, and the branches kept circling and squeezing the exhausted Charlie. The arrow flew instantly to the branch. The fire arrow didn't work? What the... Marvin shouted in horror. Awakened human beings, I will trample on you. Charlie raised the tree, attacking the commander. Commander Marvin, dodge! Alice exclaimed. Ah, do not have time. I'm finished, he answered. Gusts of wind. Someone from the side helped with one blow. Tree branches were torn apart by a powerful shock. How are you? Such speed. The commander was surprised. And the skill, gusts of wind, also belongs to D. Rank. Are you... D rank awakened? Marvin continued. I didn't think that we would be revealed like this. It's a hopeless situation. No one expected that the moss forest would be so dangerous. The D-rank warrior answered him. You, Alice whispered. Yes, miss. Your family sent us to keep an eye on you. The warrior said to the girl. Father, she thought. Miss, don't worry. Leave it all to us. Alice's warriors reassured. Bah, a bright green glow is visible in the forest. How is this possible? Marvin exclaimed, dodging the blow with a dagger in his hand. The ebony tree that attacked Charlie. Holding the blade, he continued. Develops too quickly. If this continues, then we will not come out of this battle alive. The team reasoned. <sighs> the tree monster roared. Miss, I will use the skill to make his weak point exposed. Take advantage of this moment and run away. The D-rank warrior addressed Alice. No, if I leave, the girl thought. Gusts of wind. Go away! The girl shouted, jumping into the green funnel of light. She found herself among powerful tree branches. Jumping over them, I noticed approaching monsters. Being persecuted? She exclaimed, running away. I'm tired. I can't run anymore, Alice said with tears in her eyes, and she took a fighting position, turning to the tree. Forgive me, you risked your lives, and I couldn't even escape. The girl whispered. Bang, bang. Lightning of red light, the girl put up a defense block, while some warrior was protecting her. You, you, she boldly repeated, clenching her fists. Mike? She was surprised. Alice, what happened there? Where are Commander Marvin and the others? He asked the girl. Mike, how did you deal with three E-rank monsters so easily? Alice was surprised. I'm so tired of them already, said the guy. Mike, you... The girl exclaimed when the guy took her by the waist. Be silent. One more sound and I'll throw you to them. It will be your own fault, he told the girl sternly. A group of monsters is coming here, the guy continued. These monsters, they can't see us? 
asked the girl. Is this because of Mike? Is this a skill he has mastered? How many secrets does he keep? She thought. Why did she snuggle so close? Ugh, what a pity that I'm only F rank, and bodily contact is the only way to hide Alice's aura. Mike thought with sweat on his cheeks. Meanwhile, looking at a clearing among the trees, it's safe here. Tell me what happened there in the end, the guy asked the girl. There were D-rank thieves on your team, and even they couldn't cope with what happened? Mike continued. How do you know? Alice was surprised. Mike, how do you know that there were awakened D-ranks among the team? The girl asked him. How do I know? I have eyes, he answered. These two didn't even hide. In the battle before they revealed their abilities, you just didn't notice, the guy continued. An archer must have high insight, and you are also a gold rank archer. But you didn't even notice this, it's no good. Sitting on the floor, hugging her knees, Alice shed a tear. Yes, what you say is correct. If I were stronger, then I would be useful to the team, said the girl. Will your tears help anything now? Explain the whole situation, Mike continued. In the forest of moss, we... Alice began to tell. Here's how... This situation with the moss forest is the same as I expected, he concluded. Mike, you can take cover from these creatures. Let's quickly go to the camp and tell them everything so that they can send a rescue squad. The girl turned to the guy. Do you think that when the squad gets here, Marvin and the others will still need rescuing? Huh. Even an awakened E-rank can handle this matter. You just need the right approach. He answered Alice. A team with only two awakened D-ranks is doomed to death. Ah, he thought. After Charlie was hit, even the awakened D-ranks were useless. How can E-rank cope with this? Asked the girl. Come on, take me. Let's figure out what's happening in the moss forest. Mike asked her. Meanwhile, the tree monster was attacking the team. I must endure, the warrior whispered. Meanwhile, Mike and Alice climbed onto a very high branch. The team will soon be unable to continue fighting. Mike, do you have a plan? Can you save them? The girl asked, watching the monsters attack the team. I won't be able to do it, but you can, he answered the girl. Me? How will I save them? Alice asked again. Learn to use your gift. You have inherited the rank that your ancestors once had, the guy advised her. During all this time, you have never even used any skills? Then do you deserve to have a gold rank? He pushed Alice. If you want to save them, then learn to use your abilities right now. The girl encouraged herself. Mike, teach me. How can I... She began. Use your heart, penetrate deeply, and observe... The guy began to teach her. Alice was all attention. She lit up with a yellow light. This is the golden mark. This is a gold rank archer skill. Eye of the Eagle. Alice is very capable. If she's under my mentorship, she will be able to get S rank even faster than in 10 years. Mike thought looking at her. Why I thought about mentoring again? Wasn't the betrayal of a student from a past life enough? Ha. Huh. The guy indulged in memories. I saw, said the girl, Charlie's trail. I see about 10 black trees or even more, Alice continued. Next. This is not enough, Mike admonished. I will try, exclaimed the girl. I, I see, she began. I see where their energy accumulates, she said, imagining a black twisted tree. What took Charlie is the reason for all the strange things in the Forest of Moss. The forest now seems to have merged into one, Alice continued her vision. Charlie's body now has the strength of ten black trees, and it will not be so easy to defeat him. But if you hit his weak spot, then... The girl said with enthusiasm. I understand. We need to get to this place, she said, pulling the bowstring with a burning arrow. Don't be smart! Giving her a shell bun, Mike said. Aye! You are only an F-rank archer. Your fiery arrow will not penetrate his defense, but will only attract attention. Use your brains, the guy instructed her. I'm sorry, please, teach me, Alice whispered, dropping a tear. Due to inattention and insufficient skills, you ended up in this situation. If you are an archer and cannot break through the target's defense, aren't there other options? The guy asked. I understand, the girl exclaimed. Ice arrow! And again she pulled the bowstring with a blue ice arrow. Alice hit the mark. Bah, hitting the monster's weak spot just below the stomach, he flew back slightly. Now it's my turn, Mike shouted, running into a twisted tree. It worked, the girl exclaimed with joy. Mike, brother, I did it. She turned to the guy with the hope that he would cheer her up. But the ice arrow won't last long, thought Alice. And then Mike drew his fiery blade and jumped toward the monster. At first glance, it seems like brother Mike doesn't care about anyone. But in difficult times, he is always ready to lend a helping hand. He may look indifferent, but he has a good heart. 
Alice thought about him while looking at the guy. What? Mike, have you decided not to save people but just to kill Charlie? She shouted in horror. Brother, no need. The arrows can only immobilize Charlie for a while. His defense is almost like that of D-rank monsters, she thought. If you can't break through it, you'll find yourself under attack, said Mike. Alice is right. Charlie himself is not that strong, but the armor makes him invulnerable. This kind of defense is even stronger than many D-rank monsters. But I took this into account. The ice arrows that Alice used were just part of my plan, the boy thought. Flame burn it, he shouted using the power of fire. Flaming fist blade! Fire and water. The collision of two elements intensified the blow. Fire melted the ice and united with water, like this. Little brother broke through the defense. How did he do it? Alice was surprised. This is the dark core? Mike thought, looking into the inside of the split monster. Blade of the fiery fist. Full power! The guy shouted as he attacked. Ah, bang! The burning lights of the flame flew into the ebony tree. The core is broken. The tree bark began to fall off Charlie. I... Where? Asked the freed warrior. You? That bastard Mike? He shouted in anger. Bastard ha, stupid brat, Mike answered him. Knights have an advantage against the forces of evil and are supposed to be the least likely to be influenced by monsters. But the black trees were able to take advantage of you because of spiritual weakness. Charlie thought, how did you find out? Did you set it all up? Exactly, it must be. The warrior wailed, clutching his head, not understanding anything. You are in agreement, he shouted, running into Mike. Idiot. He got angry in response, and he threw the guy away with one powerful blow. He collapsed to the ground, prone, ignorant and envious soul. No one will even cry about this, Mike said, and he took the blue crystal that remained from him. Wow, a mid-level astrolite, he assessed the stone. Dark energy without a master is trying to subjugate me. How self-confident, he thought, enveloped in slightly dark smoke. The branches and leaves that held us here have dried up, and the aura has weakened. But my soul is still not calm. The guy felt. Captain, are you okay? Said Alice, running up to the soldiers lying on the ground. They are so exhausted that they faint. But everyone is alive. Great, the girl noted. Thanks, Mike. If it weren't for you, we would all have died here. She thanked the guy. Well, a simple thank you is not enough for me. Approaching her, he said, looking into her eyes. What are you talking about? Does Brother Mike really want... Well... Of course, I'm the first beauty in the City of Dawn, Alice thought. What's wrong with her? Remember what I said during the test? He continued. So you want me to keep everything a secret? Exactly, smart girl. I didn't understand everything correctly, the girl blushed. It's safe here now, so don't go anywhere. He turned to the girl, leaving her. Mike, where are you going? She asked after him. Deep into the forest, of course. Eliminate the source of mutations, he answered. Eliminate the source. The girl said in surprise. Everything turned out exactly as I thought, said the guy moving into the forest. The black trees have dried up. I think that Charlie's death must have significantly depleted the reserves of dark energy. But I still don't know where the source is, Mike thought. Grrm, it was heard under the guy's vest. This tree woke up. Baby, your time has come. Show me the way to the source of mutations. He turned to the tree. Grrm, in that direction, Mike realized, and he rushed forward. Is he here? The guy asked, approaching a huge tree. Such a strong smell of rot and an ominous aura. It looks like we are close, but there is something else in the air. The guy felt. The kid pointed his finger straight. Grum! Grum! He pointed to a thick tree. Mike saw a passage through the tree trunks. Yep, the source is hidden in the trunk of a giant tree. I would never have found it myself, he thought. Baby, did you appear here too? He asked the tree. Grum! Muttered the little one. And how could such a sweet ant be born from a place with such a terrible aura? Something is wrong here, the guy thought. It's strange. I didn't feel the presence of a single monster the whole way. Mike was surprised. Are you here? He asked. Um, this, what an unusual abandoned village, he thought standing in front of the cute houses. It is so different from those that people build. Is this really the source of the mutation? He is full of vital energy and no signs of erosion, the guy noted. Huh? It seemed like someone shouted. Limitless Qigong. Some light transparent rings were circling in the air. There! Ah, I can't do anything against such strong energy, Mike thought. I need to become stronger. If I had rank E, I could still try to get involved in this fight, but with my current level it would be too reckless, the guy decided. 
Although I have very little left to raise my rank, I think this astrolite is enough. But it contains a large amount of dark energy, which is difficult to absorb at once, he realized. Grum! The baby tried to say something, pushing Mike's chest. Grum! And he pointed his finger to the side. Do you want us to go there? He asked the tree. Grum! Okay, let's see. The guy agreed. That's it, Mike said as he approached the fence. You were born here. Grum! These are... Memories of Ents, the guy realized when the baby touched the tree. He saw the baby's memories. Small treehouse, birds singing. So this village was built by Ents. He saw whole families of trees. Monsters are trees where the baby was born. Grum, the little one exclaimed again. Grum. And he pointed over the fence. Do you want me to help you find out what happened to the villagers? Mike asked him. Grum, the baby cried. Okay. But obviously, no one has lived in this place for a very long time. So don't count on much, the guy squatted down and told him. And he hugged the baby and leaned him against his shoulder. I hope they were able to escape when the monsters attacked, Mike thought. Drops of sweat flowed down his cheek. They saw the place where his entire family of monsters was torn apart. And then the baby, unable to bear it, burst into tears. Enough. Don't look, the guy said, closing the baby's eyes. This is the real world. Mmm. Grum. The tree screamed. Oh, Groom. The baby did not let up. I think he won't calm down soon. After all, he's still a child, Mike thought. I'll go on alone, he decided. Groom. The little one was upset. What is it, baby? Will you come with me? The guy asked. Do you want to avenge your relatives? He continued, taking it with him on his shoulder. Groom, answered the kid. Although you are still very small, you have already understood that you must pay for good with good and for evil with evil he said. Let's look around, said Mike, approaching many houses. Grum, I think it's here. The guy stopped in front of the gate. Accumulation of strength, he whispered, making a jump. Great, the disguise works. We entered unnoticed, he thought. Dark energy has taken the form of fog, and it is so dense that it may well be the reason for the mutation of high-level monsters. But why do I only feel the aura of E and D ranks? The guy could not understand. I'll go deeper and see what's there, Mike decided. Two black trees wandered around. Huh, he tried to understand. The trunks of black trees intertwined and formed an altar. The dark power gathered in it spread throughout the entire forest of moss. And in the center is the body of a giant black tree. All the dark, mutated energy of this forest emanates from it. And the monster standing in front of this tree. Is this a priest? The guy thought. What is he doing? Trying to absorb the power of a giant ebony? Mike wanted to understand. A sacrifice is needed to complete. Having exhausted the power of this Ent, I will become king of the forest? The monster growled. Grum, said the baby with fear. What? And the monsters made the sounds. Outsider, the monster felt. I see, and pointed to Mike. Ah, I was discovered. It looks like we can forget about the undercover fight, the guy realized. The people who killed my subordinates and the forest spirits who interfered with the sacrifices must be expelled. The evil monster screamed. Guard! Destroy the violators! The monster shouted, sending many trees into battle. We need to act quickly! The guy understood, and the word arrow threw fiery blows with a blade. Bang! Bang! He struck blow after blow. There are too many black trees here. I won't be able to hold out for long, Mike thought. Therefore, if you want to kill a monster, cut off his head, the guy decided. After gaining strength, I will be able to release a lot of energy and move much faster than usual. This priest is a magician, which means that if you get close to him, it will be easier to kill him, he realized, approaching the monster. Closer, the guy said to himself. Huh? He came close to the tree. This. The monster raised his wooden spear. Meanwhile, Mike managed to take out his fiery blade. Bang! Blow! A wooden spear cut through the rock. What power? His physical strength is developed, like that of ordinary warriors. If I had not dodged, then at best I would have been seriously wounded, and at worst, I would have been dead, he concluded. Stupid man, prepare to die, the monster growled, crouching slightly, preparing for a new attack. This is a monster with two classes, warrior and priest. Now you will see what the king of the moss forest is capable of, the tree growled. Two, nonsense, Mike grinned. How dare you talk to the king like that? I'll make a bloody mess out of you, the monster answered. I thought about not using it, but now I simply have no choice, the guy thought, picking up the astrolite. He squeezed the stone forcefully in his hand. 
Can such a stupid monster really call himself a king? The guy shouted. Spiritual power. F. Rank 300. E. Rank promotion. E. Rank. He concentrated. Bah! Strike flame! Fire, smoke, flying stones. A powerful force threw the monster to the ground. Wow, the difference between F and E rank is simply incredible, Mike thought. However, the thought continued. The flaming fist blade is still not enough to defeat this priest. Fa! Ha! Ha! The monster laughed as he rose to his feet. Man, ha! He growled, approaching the guy. Did he fly into a rage? The less control you have over yourself, the easier it will be for me to find your weaknesses, Mike concluded. The monster flew up to the guy in a high jump. Such speed, the guy thought. Bang! The monster's blow cut the stones. It was close. He became much faster, Mike realized. Bang! The boy dodged the powerful blow again. Flaming fist blade. Triple strike. This time the blade struck with incredible force, but... Ah! His defense is too strong, I can't break through it, thought the guy. Urgh. The monster looked at the stone. Gotcha! Mike exclaimed, defeating him with a strong blow. And he himself flew away, hiding behind purple protection. Little man, you cannot survive a direct blow from dark energy. The tree growled. Ugh, the monster did not stop. Physique of a knight. Protection of the spirit. Fortunately, the knight's physique was able to protect me. I wouldn't be able to withstand such strong dark energy without the protection of the spirit. The guy summed up. You almost got it. Mike was satisfied. Rah, you should have died. The monster got angry. His attacks are just a piece of cake to me now. But this guy's armor is too thick. I can't inflict any damage on him at all, Mike noted. This weapon was given to the monster guy by his parents when he was 12 years old. It's only rank F. That's why I can't hurt him, the guy realized. But he suddenly decided unexpectedly. I can use ice to make it stronger, he said, raising the already blue blade. Ice blade! Mike exposed the weapon, and with great strength he rushed to repel the monster's attack. Bang, bang. Only the blows of such a strong battle can be heard. The monster was very strong, but Mike didn't hesitate. He attacked, dodged, jumped, waved his blade. The force of the ice blade hit the monster in the neck. Bang bang, the fight continues. Now, my... The guy exclaimed, clenching his fiery fist. Q! And attacked the monster with a powerful blow, which pierced the neck with fiery force, where the enemy had already been wounded with an ice dagger. Ah! The monster screamed with rage and pain. Well said Mike, realizing that he had not yet defeated the leader and took up his shield. It's over, he exclaimed with confidence, again holding the blade at the ready. Bah, strong blow with a blade. Awakened one, you want to destroy me, the evil monster cried. And then a stream of purple light from the main monster, a giant ebony sitting on a throne, struck the ground, almost hitting Mike. Wake up, Rawr! a huge tree. The monster rose from its throne and moved forward. Then we will die together, said his first enemy. Such an aura. Is this giant tree a D-rank monster? No, not yet, the guy thought. It seems as if the evil forces of the entire moss forest were concentrated in him, he concluded. This time I hit big, Mike realized, seeing in front of him a terrible thug of high rank. Drops of sweat flowed down his battle-weary face. The owner of the heart of a brave man bravely breaks through difficulties. In a desperate situation, he can ignite the spirit and blood, increasing his power ten times. P -bzz, bzz was heard in the forest. Madam Alice, wait a little longer, we will be there soon. The girl was sitting on her knees next to the wounded, holding an amulet with an arrow in her hand. Please hurry up, we need medical help, the girl asked. Bzz, bzz. The amulet rang in her hand. Huh? Has the connection been interrupted? Alice shouted in horror. What? Leaning her back against a tree. She did not stop talking. Such strong, dark energy. It comes from the depths of the forest. Just a second. The girl turned in the direction from which the evil spirit was blowing. Brother Mike, he went that way. The girl began to worry even more. The giant monster, covered in a bright fiery aura, walked forward. Mike was ready, blade in hand. He stood ready to defend. This giant is still rank D, but all the dark energy of the moss forest flows towards him, and it seems to never end. I need to kill him with one blow. If we have an endurance battle, I will definitely lose, the guy thought. Mythical talent. The heart of a brave man. Its owner boldly breaks through difficulties. In a hopeless situation, he can ignite the spirit and blood, increasing his power ten times, he repeated. I'm a little exhausted after the last blow, but I have no choice. I'll have to try, Mike decided. Is he attacking? Okay then, the monster raised his giant hands. 
The heart of a brave man, the guy exclaimed, standing in the bright light. Ha ha ha, with one blow. Meanwhile, the monster leader with whom he had fought before laughed at him. If so, the guy wrinkled his forehead. Apparently, he was planning something. Huh? He didn't understand, looking at what was happening. The giant monster seemed to suck all the life out of the leader monster. Smoke, lights, noise of battle. Ah, uh, that's all you can hear around. Why did you attack your comrade? Um, you must kill that man. The wounded leader monster lamented while lying on the ground. Mike looked at the powerful blows of the branches that broke the stones on the ground. What? How is this possible? The guy was surprised. Grum, muttered the little tree under his jacket. The monster leader was simply pressed into the stone ground. Not by a man, but by a giant tree. Ah! Oh, the monster beat himself in the chest in victory. His throne was brightly fiery, as huge as he was. Black trees gathered around. He is even stronger than I thought, Mike realized. Bang, bang, the, the loud steps of a giant monster are heard. Coming, said the guy, putting on fire protection, preparing for the next attack. Now the real battle begins, he decided when the monster came close. Grum, said the kid, boldly standing on Mike's head, as if he was preparing for a fight. The baby's head glowed with a bright light green light. Meanwhile, the monster was already very close. Strength ten times greater than normal, the guy thought looking at the giant. What? He could not understand. He... Attacked himself? Mike was perplexed. The monster pierced itself with huge sharp branches as if sacrificing it. It was pierced through and through as if with stakes. This, the guy couldn't understand. The monster fell to the ground, killing itself. Memories? How did such a monster contain such pure energy? He wondered when bright, pure memories came out of his body. The twisted trees glowed with a violet light, clutching their heads with screams. Give us your shrine. Join the forces of darkness and we will spare you, some monsters said to others. Then there was a mighty battle, where monsters fought to the death. Baby, you are the most important member of our clan. I hope the shrine will protect you and you will be able to survive the attack, said the monster, hiding the baby in a tree trunk. Before he could move away, he was pierced by a huge pin. It turns out, the little Ent survived because he was hidden in a tree. So this is what happened in the forest of moss. Mike finally understood when he saw the memories. Oh, Grum! The baby cried again. Don't cry, child. Live a good life. One of the monsters reassured him, putting his hand on his small head. Man, I hope you will be kind to this child. He continued his speech, turning to Mike. The guy, in turn, put his hand on his heart and bowed, making it clear that he would not abandon the baby. Although you are not human, I admire your courage. I'll take care of him, the guy answered with confidence, and the monster turned around and left. Ooh, Grum. Mike put the baby near a post with tree branches. Now it is clear why the source of mutations appeared here. Who would have thought? The guy thought in front of the body of the murdered monster leader. Oh, I can take a couple of useful things off him, Mike said, approaching the body. The helmet, arm armor, and breastplate can still be used, the guy decided. The bark will also come in handy, but the staff... I don't really need it, but I can sell it on the black market, he thought, and took everything he needed. How can I take it all away? Mike thought. Huh? This is... He saw something. Does he have a spatial pocket in his bandage? The guy was surprised picking up the bandage. Thief's dagger. And even more than ten mid-level astrolites. Great, I just raised my rank, and I've already received so many materials for promotion. He was happy. But the greatest treasure is the spatial pocket itself, Mike concluded. There are few awakened C ranks who can boast of such an artifact. It's strange that a monster below rank D had it, the boy thought. Yeah, the bandage is just ugly. I'll redo it as time permits, he decided. M, did you say goodbye to your family? The boy asked the kid. Groom, answered the little one. Grum, muttered while sitting on his shoulder. You are a very strong baby. Now you will live with me, don't worry. I will teach you everything I know, Mike reassured the tree. Groom, the little one muttered again. Ms. Alice, an unknown mutation with a danger level of D or higher has been spotted deep in the moss forest. Try to hide your presence. We are already close. The voice from the girl's amulet repeated. Okay, she answered. Mutation in the depths of the forest. Brother Mike still hasn't returned, really. The girl was worried about him. Then arrows of burning blue light darted around. Alice became wary. Mike, you're alive, she said. Rescuers reported that a terrible mutation had occurred in the depths of the moss forest. Are you okay? The girl asked with excitement. Will they arrive soon? The guy whispered. Alice, 
Please don't forget what you promised me, he turned to the girl, and he lay down in one row, along with the wounded. Brother wants to deceive them by pretending that he lost consciousness, Alice realized looking at him. There was a flash in the forest and the warrior found himself nearby with a powerful leap. Thank you, Segung, she thanked the warrior. Alice, the main thing is that everything is fine with you. The rescue team will help you return home, Si Kung told her.